So guys, let's have a look for our type 4. This type 4 is similar to your type 5. 80% is purely similar. Then question arises, what is the difference? That 20% is your portions groups. That is the reason we say type 4. So let's have a look. The circuit is given to you. The first rule is that you have to convert this circuit into Laplace. R will be R, L will be LS, C will be 1 upon C. So let's convert it. After converting it, I need to just solve it. By solving, two things you need to remember. One is your series combination, and one is the last class, parallel combination. So these two things are parallel. parallel. So add both the things. Simplify your Z of S, my dear friends. After simplification, your Z of S, whatever equation you get. So find the factors. So this is a power one. So you get you have the factors directly. So find the factors. So S square plus 5S plus 20. Put them to your calculator. You get two values. S square plus 5S plus 20. So just plot it. Your numerator as well as your denominator. When you talk about my dear friends in numerator and your denominator, we talk about your portion theta. And when I talk about plotting, I only need to plot the value of S. That means I have this bracket. Put down equal to 0, so I will get the S value. This bracket, put it equal to 0, so I will get the value for S. So then I should this in this part on my RSA. So S plus 5 equal to 0, so S equal to minus 5. So I have three values. So my question says, if I need to plot it, I need to plot, I need to get the value of cos and 0. So I need to get the value of cos and 0, I need to know my dear friends, where do I get my zeros and where do I get my cos? So, the logic says, my dear friends, from numerator, you get zero. And from denominator, you get four. That means, the point over here, from this two bracket, I will be getting zeros. And from denominators, I will be getting four. That means, my dear friends, the value I got, 2.5 to this, and 2.5 to this, so this value, this value will be your zeros. This will be your zeros. Because this value is zero. Now, second question says, what will be your pole? So, my pole is S plus 5 equal to 0. So, this will be S equal to minus 5. So, if I need to call my pole, the pole value I will be getting from denominator. So whatever denominator bracket I am going to get my dear friends. So put it equal to 0. So S plus 5 equal to 0. So S equal to minus 5. So plot this value. So this is your real part. 5 by cross. So this is nothing but your 4. Your question said after getting the impedance function Z of S, find the value for poles and zeros. So keep in mind, first step is that reduce the network to Z of S. For reducing Z of S, two things, series and parallel combination. So after reducing it, you got the value for Z of S. After getting the value of Z of S, you need to find the value for S. For whom? Numerator as well as denominator. Okay, after finding the value for S, what about them? I need to find the value for poles as well as zeros. So the value of S which I get from numerator, that is the and the value of S, which I get from denominator, my dear friends, that is term as poles. So poles you can plot by cross, and for zero you can plot by either by circle or by cross and circle. So that's your choice. So that was the main logic behind it. The everything was similar to in type four, even type five. The only thing new part was that your poles and zeros. So keep that in mind before leaving this lecture. Your zeros you get from numerator, and your poles you get from denominator. Thank you so much guys, signing off.